looks like all the board members are here. OK, I'll call to order the Green Mountain Care Board's hearing of October 23rd, 2024. Uh, we have another ahead meeting scheduled. Um, we anticipate an executive session. Um, and so we'll take up uh, first the meeting minutes from uh, October 16th. Is there a motion to approve the minutes? So moved. Is there a second? second. And all in favor of approving the minutes, say aye. 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 And the minutes are approved. Um, Ms. Barrett, do you have an executive director's report today? Great, then I'll turn it over to Michelle Degree to take over the presentation relating to the AHEAD model. Thank you, Chair Foster. Um, I'll go ahead and share my screen. Uh, and I will just note that we did not create any new slides for the presentation today, so all of these are from last week. Um, I can make sure that they get posted to the website, as you stated in your opening remarks, the uh, anticipated that we will go into executive session today. So um, I've left in a few uh, reminder slides of just where we are with the AHEAD model itself. Um, and wanted to do a quick update on the process and timeline. So as discussed last week, there are sort of two distinct documents here that we're talking about, one being a term sheet and the other being the fully executed state agreement. Uh, the term sheet is what um, the negotiating team is currently having conversations and discussions on. So it includes the Agency of Human Services and the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Innovation. Um, that is the goal of our discussions today in executive session and the plan, if all goes well, so I hesitate even uh, saying anything, is to have it um, uh, ready for public consumption um, hopefully next week, so by the next scheduled board meeting, which is October 30th. That is the goal. Um, with that, given the nature of the conversations I've just uh, left in our slides around executive session, and motion language and made one um, change to the most motion language based on last week's conversation, which is to include the HCA as uh, a party to the conversation. And that's all I have for you. Great, thank you. Um, I'll go ahead and make the first motion. Uh, I move we find that premature premature general public knowledge regarding negotiation of state agreement proposals would clearly place the board at a substantial disadvantage in future negotiations of contracts with CMS that includes those items. I'll second. Is there any board discussion on the first motion? Yeah, well, and this is um, our Chair Foster, this is Tom. Um, having been through the executive session, <clears throat> Last week, um, I would just want to take a moment to reiterate the concerns I raised prior to the executive session last week. Um, I believe that this process would be better if it were public. Um, so that's that. That belief is going to inform my vote on these two motions. Thank you. I appreciate that view and for reiterating it today. Any other board member discussion on the first motion? Um, and as Mr. Gree said, we anticipate making the term sheet um, public uh, soon, hopefully by next week is the, is the current plan. Um, is there any public comment on the motion? I will take a vote on the motion. If we need to do a roll call, we can do a roll call, but I'll take um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Yeah. Um, I'll just note for the record that member Walsh is a nay and the motion carries uh, four in support and one against the motion. 
Um, I'll also make a second motion and I move that we enter into executive session to consider negotiation of state agreement proposals under the provisions of 1 VSA section 313 A1A of the Vermont statutes. Attendance at the executive session will be the board members, board staff working on the agreement with CMS, the healthcare advocate, the state's director of healthcare reform, and other staff and contractors from the Agency of Human Services working on the agreement. I'll second. And I will open it to board discussion. And I will open it up to any public comment on the motion. All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Nay. And I will note for the record that the motion carries with four member votes in support and member Walsh um, voting against the motion. Um, as before, uh, I want to turn to Mr. Fisher, the health care advocate. Mr. Fisher, do you agree to um, keep the discussion relating to the AHEAD model negotiations that will be discussed in the executive session confidential? Yes, the HCA agrees to keep discussions in the executive session confidential. Great. Thank you. Uh, so we'll take a break at this time so that those that are to attend the executive session can do so, and we'll return to the public session, I anticipate, by 3 o'clock. Um, and we'll take a break till then. Thank you.